Welcome to Sweeping the Country. I'm your host, Derek Walker, my co-host, Mr. Jimmy Carter. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, hello, hello. I know we'll get into politics. I know we'll get into weather. We'll know we'll get into all the things that are going on yeah. right now. But I just got into a watching stuff uh, this week. Okay. I uh, thought I was going to, I thought I needed to watch a little piece. I was going to watch one episode. Mm -hmm. Of the perfect couple on Netflix. Now that's Nicole Kidman, right? It's very a very popular, you know, show. Yeah, I haven't watched. So I put it on and watched one episode. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not usually into murder investigations and Dateline and murder shows. I mean, I guess every show it seems like if you break it down is almost a murder show. You know, the NCIS shows and all that. So I can't say I don't like that stuff, but generally. The people that just have to watch Dateline or those kind of shows. Yeah. I'm not one of those. So I finished the first hour. I said, Dick, this is good. I got I got time. Let's go watch the second one. Okay. So I watched the second hour. And then when that got through, I looked at it and said, it's getting late, but I can go ahead and watch it. I watched <laughs> the third hour. And then it got time to eat. So I thought, I'm going to break out, be back. And then when I came back from dinner, I watched the third or fourth hour, whatever I'm up to in the story. But yeah, yeah. fifth hour, and I had to go to bed after the end of the fifth. And I started to watch the six in bed, but fell asleep. Okay. So at midnight last night, I woke up because there was something going on. Whatever it was, woke me up. And I was wide awake. I've been asleep three hours. Wide awake. And uh, I said, well, I'll just go ahead and start watching the six (laughs) episodes. So I put it on and fell asleep. So I had to finish it this morning, but well worth my time. I don't always feel that way. Very smartly written. I couldn't figure it out. I'd... It was a surprise, uh, and I didn't feel like I'd been ripped off. There was closure uh, at the end of the show? There was. I mean, usually okay. these shows, a lot of shows don't know how to end. That's movies as well. Yeah, I agree. They just don't know how to end. It's like they just either keep going, mm-hmm. which is a story in a minute, or whatever. But no, this was good. It's okay. on uh, Netflix. Six it's episodes? perfect couple with six episodes, so it's six hours. I'll watch With it. Nicole Kidman. And Dakota Fanning, who I did not recognize. I interviewed her when she was a little girl. I'm trying to think of and what she was in between. She was in the famous one with uh, with Denzel Washington, Man on Fire. Oh, yeah. By I do kidnap remember. little girl, and he has to go get her. That's right. Uh, I started interviewing her around that time and some other time. Mm-hmm. And really when she was really little. And now she's definitely a grown girl. And it's just good. The show yeah. is great. My, so um, I really thought it was excellent. My daughter um, recommended that movie, and I kind of brushed it off, thinking, "Well, maybe it's a younger person's movie, and you know, I'll, I don't know. I just didn't get out." Anyway, after it, take but... take my word for it; it's good. Okay, I, mean, I, I liked it. Okay, now I had not. I'm behind on things. Mm-hmm. I had never seen the Batman. That's the Batman version with Robert Pattinson. Okay, from I think 2022, or at least if I had seen it. I didn't remember it. I almost remember going to the theater, but I think I fell asleep. Was that the dark one that everybody said? It's oh, dark. It was, yeah. Okay. It's dark. Okay. Robert Pattinson is dark, and mm-hmm. uh, I don't know who the guy that played Alfred. I never saw it either. And uh, There's a couple of people. I can't remember all their names, but mm-hmm. you know, it, it was good. It was three hours, though. Wow. Man. It took wow. me two days. I had to stop and do and work and then come back and finish it. Yeah. Uh, it was dark, but well done. But I guess the reason I got interested in it, I did it, I did it ass backwards. I watched the show The Penguin. Okay. The Penguin is new on HBO Max. It's Colin Farrell playing The Penguin. Who I like. He's and, a great uh, actor. It's, it's apparently a series. Mm-hmm. I don't know how often and when it comes or anything, but I watched episode one. It would have been better if I had seen The Batman first because this story picks up hours after that story ends. Okay. Okay. All right. So the so. penguin is very good too, but I think you need to see the Batman with, uh, what's his name? Robert Pattinson. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then so see, the see that first and okay. then see the penguin. Okay. It'll be better for you. I've and always then loved the Batman I movies. finished, um, episode two of season two of Tulsa King, which is, is it still good? Yeah, it's good. I wanted to, it, it's just, <laughs> It's not. I wish they would put just put all the episodes out, and I would watch it and be happy. This yeah. way, it's just. I don't think the meat isn't. There's enough meat there mm-hmm. on any one of these episodes to make it almost 
I almost say, well, I think I might wait till they just get them all out, then I'll watch them all. I agree with you. I I find, for me, I'm I'm watching Only Murders still, which I've watched since the beginning on Hulu. Only Murders in the Building. Yeah, that one. I yeah. love that. Um, there's something on Apple we're watching. I can't remember what it is. I haven't started the Costner movie because it's so long, but I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that. But I find that when I get murders, when I get to the next episode, I forgot what the other episode was about. And I know how they play that little get you up to date thing and all that, but it loses. Yeah, they do the first. And the it last feels thing. like it loses momentum. I feel. I like, think so too. But I, I mean, we're also you know we. I mean, if you're if you're 20 years old, yeah. you weren't raised this way. But everybody else. You know, we watched an episode of a show, yeah, and we came back next week and watched the second episode. Yeah, we did. If I, it was I, a continue or the next day, <clears throat> if it was a soap opera. Yeah, you can't, I, you know, yeah, you're you right. I mean, I can't, I can't argue with that at all. Um, but so I don't, I don't know. I mean, I love. I, I I don't really want to spend my time like six hours there of my life watching this show. Yeah, because you'd never sit down for a six hour movie. Maybe right. a three-hour movie, but not a six-hour movie. Right. And then, and can it be shortened to a movie? Oh yeah. Yeah, they just break I mean, it up. They, yeah. Because they do a lot of dilly dallying, you know, in these. Well, things. and they cliffhang you on every episode, so you, everything. Yeah. A movie doesn't and, do that. You, you know, you a movie you commit to three hours or an hour and a half or whatever without knowing, right? Uh, one of these episodic uh, films, I'll say. You commit to a 30, 40 minutes of show, and if it's no good, you never watch it again. Yeah. You know, so I mean, well, it's kind of a test. I don't I mean, know. We're coming up now on the fall season. So, what and does that course, mean? Well, it's all the new shows come out. Okay. Matlock came out the other day. Yeah. Now, the second episode's not going to run until October. Uh, but it was 8 million people watching. Well, that's Kathy a good ba- these days. Kathy Bates is playing Matlock, and she's. That's it. That's yeah. what I say. What, I don't know what I say. I don't but, know. But yeah, you, yeah, but I mean, she's a no, great yeah, actress. Matlock. Yeah, Matlock. That's who she is. Yeah. Got me confused. Yes. And, I um, and so, yes, yeah, she was good. And that that's going to be a hit show. Uh, the There's a bunch of good ones. Tracker was from last year. I really. Oh, I, I saw that. I binged those mostly because I didn't see any of them and then just started watching them. Yeah, it's really. And I it's really watched good. them over several day period, but I'm looking. That show starting back up. I, I like I, the FBI series too. The uh, most most wanted, the international, and the regular. How about I like that? How about the true to life things? Like I, I saw the uh, Bobbitt uh, movie that that's out with Lorena Bobbitt and, and no. Peter, Scott Peterson. The Menendez brothers just came yeah, out on I don't Netflix. Care about that? I feel I like don't. I lived it. I don't need to. see I feel it. like I did report it on or added in the news. Or right, just exactly. Nice entertainment. Interesting. I mean, now they've a bunch of documentaries are out there now. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's one on Vince McMahon. If you are a Is that wrestling good? fan, well, it just came out today, so I okay. hadn't seen it. Okay. But. Uh, uh, if you ever were a fan of wrestling mm-hmm. and you knew that character, you knew who he was. Yeah, I do. That show will mean something to you. So there are a lot of wrestling fans out there. Okay. And he was one of the creators of, of WWE and WWF and all that. Okay, so, so that's out. That's out there. Um, hey, you the forgot FBI's one. The are good. The NCIS is new. You forgot uh, a major one, Jimmy. Ryan Seacrest is now hosting Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. I watched I've kind of walked through there and seen it. I think yeah. that the set is gaudy. I don't like the set. Interesting. It's too plastic. Looks like a bad state fair. Uh, they should have. They could have changed the board, but they didn't need to change anything else. Yeah. They should have just put a better paint I, job I, on. It I watched a whole episode, and I got the feeling while I was watching it, in Ryan's mind, he was saying, "What have I done?" <laughs> I don't know well, why I felt that, but I felt that. I was like, is he thinking, what am I doing here hosting this game show? But uh, it was he was good. I mean, he's always good. He's polished and, you know. It's slick. I mean, he's slick. Yeah. And the show is too slick. Okay. It, it's, Maybe that it's was it. It's lost a lot of its folksiness. Okay. And stuff. Um, it's just they, they put, put too big a plastic coat mm-hmm. on their paint. So wow. I mean, I'm, wow. Interesting. You know, and that was not my normal show anyway, but that's just, as an observer, I think it's just... Yeah, that's interesting. There was something weird. It just made me think, him thinking, what have I got myself into? Yeah. And I and, and I, then Jeopardy! Yeah. I don't watch that because I just find it insulting. I don't. <laughs> I think, who are these people that can know 
<laughs> you know, the composition of notebook paper and stuff like that. Right. Genius. I mean, it's just, you don't need to know that stuff. It just, people are just, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, well, plus it makes you crazy. feel dumb when you're watching it. That's <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, it, but if it asks normal questions, yeah, you know, I can do a couple every once in a while, <laughs> right? Right. But right. it's really some of the categories, you know, when for the super people, yeah, I want to say, boy, I just don't want to meet these people ever, <laughs> you know, because they're not anybody I'd ever want to meet. So they got to be just freakazoids. <laughs> You know that have mem that memorized the they dictionary must. and they the must. and the and the phone book. I mean, it's just weird. They're weird. a little quirky. Now you know they're coming up with another. It's kind of an easier Jeopardy or something. Okay, that's coming out. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's it's coming. Okay, I like so, that. I'll take an easier. Yeah, Jeopardy. a little easier. Yeah, a little easier. Yeah, I like that. Was kind but, of you like know, I'm just not the only show I ever like. I mean, of the game shows now. Yeah, I mean, all these years, but a lot of people don't. You know, we all got different. This, I think my dad said, if we all liked the same woman, we'd be married to her. That's true. But that'd be probably. Uh, you know, everybody's got their taste in games. Okay, what is it? I mean, Jeopardy, they love. Yeah, they love Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I am a Price Is Right person. <laughs> I've always been a Price Is Right. Person. It is fun. Everybody I mean, can play. Yeah. Uh, it's always it's fun. I mean, yeah, it's I just agree. I it's agree. fun where you where you don't feel bad about yourself if you didn't remember where. Certain things were, uh, let's make a deal was always fun. Oh, I like that one. Uh, yeah, I've that got a good. secret was always fun. I don't remember. I got that tired one. of the innuendos on the match game when they've tried to bring it back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It I wasn't got, good. Doing, it was an they were always doing the alley ball. When he yeah, would, that's right. He would wreck yeah. a one car funeral. G Gene uh, uh, Rayburn was way better at that. Oh, yes. He was, he was way better at that. Uh -huh. uh, I love the Hollywood Squares. I wonder why I they've never fun. tried to bring that back. Which one? Hollywood Squares. I don't know. Maybe I mean, they did once time, but I yeah, mean, that was yeah, maybe they have a hard time getting. You know what? They have a hard time finding nine people, the, nine stars. Yeah, I bet you're there right. There aren't nine stars in the universe anymore. <laughs> they you know, and let alone ones that would want to show up and do. I mean, a game the ones show. that you know, because everybody used to do that show a little bit. Yeah, and that's you right. could get you know some people to do it here and there, but it I think would, they just need know, a lot of trouble trying. Look at Dancing with Stars. Uh, yeah, they they, can't find no, they got a, they got a, some gal under house arrest right now. Dancing. Yeah, they got gonna... prisoners in there now. They got <laughs> com, they got crooks. But I mean, know, don't you think it feels like it would be a good PR move for the stars to be in front of your face every week or every? Other well, week? if you could actually dance, I mean, we yeah, couldn't true. do it. That's true. You know, That's now, who true. who can do that? Yeah, it's pretty so, specific. You know, it's, it's pretty, you know. And then it's just we're all so different with our taste. You know, we're now they get five million, six million. They're pretty happy with that. The voice, I think, has run its course myself. I kind uh, with of Blake agree. Out of it, it just that's the show looks tired. I don't care if Snoop Doggy Dog's on it or what, whoever what is, else. Can I ask you a question? I mean, you're you, this is your business, right? I mean, you've been doing this your whole life. What has triggered? the snoop dog hotness lately i mean he is on the olympics he's on the voice he's are these all nbc shows what is his that? fan his fan base you know i you know it, it's i don't even know who that is the I... certain a certain group of people are never watching network television anymore they don't yeah the numbers are down Woo! it's like a plane coming from thirty five thousand feet that's now at about seventeen thousand feet and it's going down yeah sure and these streaming shows is ridiculous. I mean, what we just talked about. Uh, what am I paying a month for Netflix? Ten, twelve, fifteen dollars, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's gone up. I know recently again. So yeah, I mean they're all nickel. And dime. then Paramount Plus, when well, I'm paying eight dollars, nine dollars for that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just all these shows. But that's where people are. They're streaming, just yeah. like they are in the music business for Spotify and Pandora. I was going to say I never would do that, but I do Apple Music, and that costs ten dollars a, a month. month. And the great thing about that, and when I'm not on the road this week or that week, and but if I am or if I need it, I can almost find any song. That oh I'm, yeah, it's great. I did, it's great. I did stump it lately. It's got things that's not on there. Some things are still not on there. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, that's but I, I I think I get my ten dollars worth maybe on that. Amazon Prime has cost me whatever it's cost thirteen ninety nine or something like that. I do use my Amazon. Prime, yeah, you know, I, I do just too. got these air filters from there because yeah. oh, nice. I wouldn't know where to go to get them. It's you're you right, know, you're right about that. And there was a toy that I was looking at for you know, it ain't that far till Christmas. And I bet my grandson has it. It's 
It's not that much, mm -hmm. relatively speaking, but it's a remote control tractor, uh, you know, with the, with the hook on the front of it and oh, yeah. like whatever a, you call those. Like a scoop? Uh, like a, like a, yeah, like a scoop tractor. Yeah. And uh, and I bet he has it, but it looks like, boy, it would be cool to have had that as a kid. Oh, my so, God. Well, you remember. You know, but, but it's on, but you find 12 of them, you know, 12 different companies selling the same thing. Uh, it was yeah. a Chinese company, yeah, and it's on Amazon. So yeah, boom, it could be here today at five o'clock. Yeah, right, same day, to. right, same day. Uh, you made me think of something when you're talking about that. We had, I don't know if you did, I did. I'm a little bit younger than you, but not a lot. I, I, we had the Tonka uh, line yeah. of excavators, so you could, you had to manually pull the handle and oh, yeah. it would scoop. But can you imagine having a remote control? I would, I would be there all day playing with that. Yeah, you just day. totally. Yeah, it would yeah, be. That's fascinating. If I was a little one, they love all the, he loves tractors. Oh, and yeah. Heck yeah. All that kind of stuff. I guess heck that's yeah. just and trains and but it all is, those. But it is easy to buy. You're right about it. I, I ran into a little bit the other night. I was watching, I was trying to watch the Monday Night Football game. So I, I put on the TV and it said it's on ESPN and ABC. I said, well, I, I don't get ESPN. I don't pay for that. I get over the air signal. So I only get ABC. So I thought, well, what are they going to do if it's on? Are the, the games look, there were two games. They look like they're on the same time. The Buffalo game was on ESPN. The Cincinnati game was on ABC. Okay. I could only watch one. And last week, I couldn't watch any because it was only on ESPN. They didn't put it on ABC. So they're trying to drive you to this streaming service where you oh, have to pay. Oh, without question. Yeah. Without I, question. And, 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 if, if, and see, ABC, though, which is Disney. Right, which ESPN, is ESPN. which is Disney. Yeah. They paid out the bazungas for the rights for, you know, billions of dollars for the rights to these things, whether you're Paramount Plus. Yep. That's and right. Viacom, which is CBS, right. who just laid off a whole bunch of people today. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I saw or that. your NBC or the other people, including Peacock, Amazon yeah. and, Nick, and uh, Nickelodeon and all the people who can piecemeal run NFL games. And the college is just about all ESPN. I haven't even. With a little bit of Fox. Yeah. And I've, then if it's a crappy game, like your team is playing somebody crappy that week. They ain't going to be on. Game, yeah. You can't yeah. find it. It's Everything is on TV. Yeah. But you've got to go down to like ESPN plus something. Yeah. So you've got to go way down in the in the deal and you gotta be a subscriber to yeah. ESPN right. or Hulu or one of those things together to be able to watch anything. I, Jeff Glore yeah. got blown up at CBS today. I liked him. Uh he was a Syracuse university graduate, was the anchor yeah. of lead anchor of CBS Evening News for a while. And then they put him on CBS Saturday morning, mm -hmm. and he got laid off there today when they laid off a bunch of people because Viacom needs, you know, like they're all, like I said, they were at 50,000 feet. Now they're at 17,000. So they're cutting. They're, they have you know, to. They have to. You know, out. They have to. If that revenue slows down, they can't keep paying those salaries. And local you know? TVs are in the same situation. So yeah. it's it's very interesting. And then, you know, you, you – People are going to scream when this, at some point, though, because I they don't am. watch local news or they're not watching national news. And, okay, for all of you that don't do any of those things, you've got Israel right now on five different fronts battling people, yeah. mostly the Hezbollah with Iran just in any day. We have just sent over a whole bunch. Of, they, don't, they were not specific about how many troops they sent over, mm -hmm. but we just sent over a lot. We've got 40,000, th I think, people in the theater now. These could be your relatives. These could be your friends. Oh, yeah. And if this thing blows up, there could be a draft, and you could be, you know, some of your children might be going. You know, So that so, doesn't motivate some of you to watch the news. I don't know what is. I got, I, you, I got had something interesting happen. It was about three weeks ago, and I won't say where and when and who and all that kind of stuff, but about three weeks ago, a friend of a friend had a relative that got called up from a place that I wouldn't even thought they would be busy at all from uh, a reserve unit. Uh, they said, pack uh -huh. your stuff. You're leaving in 24 hours. This was about three weeks ago. So they knew something was going oh, on. Oh, they did. Yeah, they always know. Yeah. And uh, that's their business to know. Yeah, sure. And, you know, you've got these National Guard units, particularly Air National Guard. Yeah. They're all on active duty and doing stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. And, uh, it's crazy. And it's just it's the system. So, But, again, a lot of people, a real lot of people, most people – they don't vote. They don't watch TV or anything else. So I just shake my head because there's so many things going on. Right. And until you're 
you know, a lot of people just don't care until their their cow is stolen or until it their home is them, broken yeah. in. Yeah. Or I, until I that they're hit, you know, their car is run off the road by someone driving like a fool in a drive by shooting or something. And then well, it's ain't, important. Yeah. Ain't gonna happen here. It happens everywhere. It does, it yeah. It happens everywhere. And like in Birmingham this weekend, last weekend oh, you had geez. twenty one people shot. Unreal. Four people Unreal. killed when uh, on a targeted Hit. hit. Yep. Two people, they believe two, came up and shot the people they intended to shoot, and then shot some other people is just, you know, on the way out. Yeah. Crazy. 100 rounds. 100 rounds spent, Oof. 21 people shot, four dead. Now, what did, you know, the, the hubbub in the media time is, oh, we got to get these uh, things that make the Glock go automatic or something the bump stock okay yeah that's fine that's all fine and then some people want to out we got outlaw guns we got outlaw guns well come on folks that's never going to happen now in my lifetime i can i would risk any amount of money that that's not gonna happen i, I would too 50 would years too. from now i'm not so sure mm, wow. we have a whole new you know cons if everything is the way it is today 50 years from now maybe the next generation would would want to do something with that, but I certainly don't see it anytime soon. There's too many guns. Mm -hmm. There, it's just you can't you can't unring a bell really. Now you can make them outdated and make it where you can't get the ammunition and all that stuff. But no, we're not we're not that country yet. Right. And yeah. So if, while we're living in the country, why don't we try to do a couple of other things? Mm -hmm. Like why don't we do get tag readers? For all the main roads in these towns, that way you know what car has been down what road. And the computer can call it up and even make it court order. You got to get a court order before you can check who went down this. I don't care how you do it, but get get in the conversation. That's how they got the assassin would be assassin for Trump. Yeah, they caught yeah. on a tag reader. That's how they solve so many crimes with that. All right, why don't we get more cameras in the downtown area? of these towns or in the entertainment sections or whatever, and start using technical means where you'd have a camera shot of everything yeah. and you might, and make them high definition where you can possibly identify somebody. At least you would have known the car they were in. At least you would have known roughly how tall they were. It would be a start. Mm -hmm. so I got, I got two there's things. There's no suspects here. And, and that's something the federal government ought to be doing instead of putting in, bike lanes or <laughs> things like that okay where our priorities are so screwed up i would agree with you but i think there's a We're group so of people up. i think there's a group of people and i have a story about because i got something stolen on camera about 10 years ago and we we caught, saw the guy we saw everything we saw him take it we saw him it was a snowboard he took it at a resort and he rode it away he okay. put his boots on and he rode my snowboard away. Hmm. And I told the guy, I said, well, there he is right there. And he said, well, the picture's not good enough. We can't identify him. And really what it was is this is not a big enough deal. Now, if he had murdered somebody, they would well, have been on it, which again, I, is fine. We have, we've got things so topsy-turvy in this country for so long. Number one, the civil court system in our country, if you wanted to sue somebody for a breach of a contract or some type of non-criminal offense to get heard in a court is years yeah it's ridiculous years yeah it is and that's messed up yeah. the criminal courts you know they know they can't put everybody that needs to go to prison in prison here's a guy just this week drunk ran over a cop in st louis oh geez he was out on probation he was not a citizen of the united states and he was out. He was on probation for a, a dr drunk DUI offense, and then mm -hmm. he kills a cop, you know, that's out there on the interstate trying to direct traffic or something, and he runs into him. God, that's uh, terrible. That kind of stuff. Why are we not enforcing the laws we have? Why don't we? Why are we doing things like people that need to be in jail need to be in jail? People that aren't citizens of the United States committing crimes. Why aren't they deported? I mean, immediately, why, we're just why? a mess. We are a mess, and I hate. It's just depressing when when you talk about it. I want to go back, but, to but something it you goes said. back to watching TV. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to watch the news. It is depressing. I don't watch it every day myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't want to hear about all. I mean, I certainly get sick of hearing about Trump versus Harris. 
I can only take so much of that a day. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's just we've got to fix some of the problems that are wrong and not just saying we're going to ban guns Mm -hmm. or saying we're going to lower the prices. What what do you say, though? We're going to make more oil and gas. I mean, we're already making a lot. We maybe need to do some more, but I'm just saying these are all simplistic answers to complicated problems. Okay, so let's go back because there's going to be a group of people um, based on what we were just talking about, where we say, yeah, the cameras and the and watching and license plate readers, there's going to be, you know there is, because there always is, a group of people who say, hey, th- you're infringing on my rights. You That's can't right. do that. So what so do you what say? Is, what is what? exactly your right? Your right to mm, what? Boy. To be anonymous while you're walking around the street? You don't have that right. Okay. Uh, I mean, your rights end where my nose begins on some of this stuff. That's fair. And when it That's comes fair. to committing a crime, you know, but... Yes, there need to be. You can't have Big Brother, but we're Big Brothers here. Oh, I agree with that. I mean, I Big mean, Brother's been here. If you don't think that the the feds can do a bunch of magic, yeah. they can do a bunch of magic. You've got, you know, if they're if it's if it's really 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 important, and they can get the military or the National Security Agency mm-hmm. to have some presidential orders to go do something, they can read. You can put your driver's license out in your front yard, and they can read it from space. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. If you if it was really that important to do, rarely does anything become that important. Yeah, where yeah, they yeah. can use that type of material. But we've got you know things in cars where you can you don't have any privacy now. Every phone you have is tracking you. Yeah, and it is. I've noticed know not to have a phone. I've noticed they know that. not to have a phone. Yeah, I've noticed that in the last few cases, like the uh, Corberger, which is a big one in in Idaho. That was the uh, uh, University yeah. of Idaho where the guy killed four people. Um, uh, four, four, four or five, four. Um, he's. I think he's going to be uh, moved. The venue's moved to Ada County now. But I noticed in that they triangulated the cell phone. I noticed in the Trump assassination attempt they triangulated the cell phone. So they're they're using that technology. And, and I don't, they can tell you everywhere you've been and everywhere you made a call and all of that stuff. So I mean, we're in the computer. Okay. If you think any of their texts are private, they are to a point until they're not. But so, okay, so devil's advocate, where does it stop? I mean, they're listening inside my house? I mean, I'm talking right now about something. If they need to. Oof, okay. If they need to and they get a court order, I mean, they've been, but they've been able to listen inside your house for decades. Yeah, I guess it would have to decades. be decades. They've been a able reason. to prevail. Yeah. But you got I mean, now for you national got, security reasons and those things. Like you that. got AI now that can comb over text, which is you know voice to text could comb over that at billions and billions of pieces of data per per second. Yeah, and say, oh gosh, you know these guys mentioned uh, whatever uh, Hamas. Oh yeah, fifty seven yeah. yeah. times. We better. Well, that's how they got. The, that's how they prevented the crime. Of killing all those people at the Taylor Swift concert. Yeah. Okay. Fair. That's how they did it. A surveillance computer found out that that guy was talking to whoever he was talking to. Yeah. You know about whoever it was, Iran or I don't know what he exactly did. Now I don't remember. I don't but either, anyway, yeah. they caught up with that. They told one our country told another country that told them, and they local people checked on it, and then they found it, and boom, I'll they, be darned. Yeah. Stopped at the last minute. But believe me, there's all kinds of stuff, you know, going on if they need if they need to know. And yeah. they and believe me, do you think we're told everything? No, they've probably they been listening think, for years. I mean, I used well, to Well, I mean everything. I mean, just about do you think we've taught we've they've told us everything that they've uncovered and looking, you know, this guy oh, down God, in Florida no. that was no. gonna shoot Trump? No way. Do you think they've told us everything? No. Do you I think bet that you... they tell us about all the threats? That that are going on all the time. No, I mean, believe me, we don't know a lot, and even our local police know a lot more because they know they're incapable of doing stuff about it. They've known of, they know the drug trade and the pathways, oh, sure, yeah, and they know what goes on in these prisons and jails, and and they're listening some of the time mm-hmm. to prisons and jails because that's how they get esp- you know intelligence. So a lot of people just don't have a clue yeah. you know, what's going on yeah, yeah, in the world. Fair. But it would be helpful if people would get involved a little more. And again, and I saw it today, a couple of Hollywood stars mm-hmm. giving us advice on which candidate to pick. <laughs> which and is always the only great. The thing that these people, these, these folks, these, these thespians seem to know about is the abortion issue. Yeah. And abortion is on the ballot. 
they're one they're one issue people and i guess that's okay for them but we've got a lot more compli- we got a lot of trouble in this country and a lot of things that need to be accomplished and as they say now the republicans are going to win the senate mhm Democrats are going to win the House. Okay, and they're not sure who's going to win the presidency. Yeah, nobody is. Nobody is. So you go. You but end the, up with you know, the Congress is that, that's a big deal. It is a big. deal. I mean, deal. it's a photo finish in Texas. Yeah, with uh, Ted Cruz down there. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the governorship in, uh, I guess it's the governor race in North Carolina mm-hmm. with the lieutenant governor that was on some kind of porn site or something. I right, mean, right, right. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. Well, and, uh, like you just said, mm. they can see everything everybody's doing. So if you want to find out something about an opponent or something, yep. I know it's a it's a tool that we shouldn't use for that, but people are using it. And they they're, do. They're digging up dirt, and they can they can dig it up on everybody. You, I mean, you and I probably. And that's what keeps a lot of good people from doing, you know, that, that yeah. are, you know, that did stupid stuff when they were a kid. Or yeah, I agree. Or college. I agree. And uh, but that's just okay. Yeah, I know. agree. I think sometimes I go back and I think, God, thank goodness there was no Facebook or Instagram or TikTok when you and I were in school because who knows where we would be now? We probably wouldn't have landed our jobs that we have. We probably people would have looked at our social media accounts and said, Oh my God, this guy, what? Yeah, I just I you can't know? even. My imagination doesn't even work to include that <laughs> because I know what junk we got into when right. we you know, didn't have that. Right, and with right. all these tools with the cell phone, yeah, that's having right. that kind of communications oh my with, with our buddies and stuff. Oh, my oh God. My God. <laughs> Out and, of control. Yeah. Cameras man. in your hand, computers in your hand. I mean, yeah, yeah no doubt about Crazy. it. Crazy. Well, so anyway, it's just we live in a very uh, confused world, and it definitely is heating up. Mm-hmm. You know, and but I've, I was trying to wonder if there were some people in this particular neighborhood. It's a it's for one particular party, mm-hmm. and some people in the neighborhood, and it's ninety percent, ninety five percent Plan X or Plan Y. Okay, and they put a and they put a a, a, a not a bumper sticker, but a, a pony, you know, yard sign. Yard oh, yeah, sign. oh yeah, I've seen those. There's little... so few of them. I couldn't even think what they call them. Yeah. Saw two yard signs. That's like just putting a stick in the eye of the other people. I never, I would never do that. We have a, yeah. a funny sign uh, going on in our area here, and it's in regards to Idaho, and it's in regards to some kind of uh, voting, rank choice voting, and some the closed primaries or something. And and one side wants you to vote no, and of course the other side wants you to vote yes. And and we've had a, a huge influx of people from other states. One of the states is California. And oh, evidently, yeah. these these people don't look too favorably on the people that have come from California. And it says, "Don't Californicate our elections. <laughs> Vote no on this thing." And I just thought the other day, you talk about it being insulting, and whether you know you think you are, or you're not. Yeah, the yard sign you put out, it's in your face, right? I mean, and if you want to put that on your sleeve. You and I, you you and I have never. I'm imagine because we're cut from a similar cloth. I don't have a bunch of bumper stickers on my car. No, I have no bumper stickers on my. (laughs) I don't. I do have an Alabama car tag. Okay, that's fair. And that's the closest thing to a bumper sticker, (laughs) but it's the state license plate. Right, I University of Alabama. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I don't put on there. I don't either. I don't. I don't need to tell everybody what my political. If you love, if you love the place or whatever. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. No. No, there's no gun sticker on my. AR-15 no, sticker nothing. on the back. Apple, no, Apple use Apple I got computers. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure nothing. who those people are, and I don't mean to offend I anybody. But, I mean, I don't need to tell you what my political preference is on the back of my car. Just like oh, I don't. Some people, it's a billboard. I mean, they got. That's 50, true. I've seen some people with probably 50. Uh, looks like my well, refrigerator. Now, if you want to offer yeah. me some money, I'll put something on there. I'm not doing it for nothing. I'm not putting the Apple logo on my car and Apple not paying me for that. You want to advertise, yeah. you pay. So, I, yeah, it's very strange. But I agree on the political science. And, and taking it one step further, we're starting to get into this season now where we're voting for local positions and people are putting their signs yeah. out for that. Yeah. Yeah. When they're done, when it's over, win or lose, I don't care what you did, pick up your signs. They're supposed to do that. And in some states, there's a, some rule or something. I like a to fine. Do. I think a fine would be good. Uh, yeah. You know, like at least some people can't control where everything is, but you yeah. know, they, everybody needs to get rid of that junk. Yeah, I mean, as much as you can. With. Yeah, as much as you can. I agree. I agree. Jimmy, always a pleasure. Just like uh, last week and this week again, and 
We have so much fun. Tell a friend about sweeping the country, and uh, we appreciate y'all listening. And until next week when we do it all again, I am Derek Walker. He is. I am Jimmy Carter. Good day. Good day.